thing leads to another, right? I started with a guy who makes musical instruments out of ice, then I found this exceptional fellow. What a lovely life. Spend your time making these things. And that got me interested in miniatures, and to my surprise, I heard about this crazy gang of odd people right here in Toronto who make miniatures on an enormous scale. Think about that train set with the little topography and so on, and then imagine it on a big scale. Which leads me to our next speaker. Nice to see you again, John. So if you've you. been upstairs, have you had some traffic up there, John? Oh, we've had some traffic. My job is to get the rest of you up there. Good man, okay. Uh, thank you, Moses. Um, so I'm here today to talk to you about building Canada in miniature. Um, I have to pause for a second. There's been a lot of love professed on this stage over the last few days. Love of cryptocurrency, love of cannabis, love of cooking with can cannabis. So I, I must pause and profess my love for Canada. I love Canada. And I better. And so I'll come back to that. We are building a miniature world for the 21st century. Almost the opposite of what you just saw. Although, boy, Bill couldn't have set up this fascination with miniatures any better. Um, it is vast, it is incredibly detailed, and it is fully animated to bring this world to life. I want to pause again because this is an amazing opportunity. And I would like to thank Moses for the opportunity to be here with you. Uh, we work in miniatures, of course, all the time. So as a gift, we created an homage to Moses and his favorite automobile. Uh, now, I think it is up on the, uh, the balcony, but uh, we may be able to bring it in here. Um, there is this fascination with miniatures, which Bill set up so well, uh, which that is the world that we live in. And what we're creating is an experience of Canada that will be unique and compelling for residents and visitors to our great country. We have struggled to describe it, and even, even Moses pitching it for us, I can guarantee you have no sense of it until you actually walk into it. You really do need to see it to believe it. I can't bring it to you here today. At some point, we would love to have you all come into our world. Um, but we've done what is hopefully uh, will serve in, in, um, in the meantime. And we've created a, a video of the concept, and I'd like to run that now. Thank you. The feeling is all around us. It lives in the balance of city and country, in the brilliant color of autumn leaves, in blue rivers with kayakers, in the gleam of city skyscrapers, in the bright lights of great sports stadiums, and the vibrant energy of city streets and markets. It's the feeling of the true North, strong and free. It's home. It amazed me the physical and cultural diversity of this vast country. So much so that in 2011, I had a vision to bring all of Canada just a little bit closer. To build a place where people could see and experience our glorious country in one afternoon a miniature adventure from coast to coast to coast. Welcome to our home and miniature land. Un endroit où sont célébrées les destinations fabuleuses ainsi que les coutures anciennes et modernes du Canada. Building a country as big as Canada takes a lot of work. We're building an animated world on a scale that will pay tribute to Canada's vast geography and diversity. Our team of artists, architects, designers, and engineers have combined the craft of 19th century model making with 21st century technology. Our Toronto skyline has 30,000 LEDs and a 14-foot CN tower that has elevators and tiny edge walkers. Every building, every vehicle, every person, it's all been designed to bring you Canada as you know it and as you've never seen it before. So our goal is to build the next big attraction in Toronto. And we know we have something magical on our hands. 
a miniature world in Hamburg, Germany. Attracted 1.3 million people last year. It's actually the number one thing to do in Germany on TripAdvisor. From New York City to St. Petersburg, Russia, these miniature worlds are proving to be a giant success. Your investment will help us to launch in 2019. As a founding builder, you'll receive special access to our home in miniature land. You can also be part of our builder's circle with a 3D version of you standing tall and proud at about five inches, this is me, in our lobby and on our website. We want to offer Canadians who share our passion for this amazing place the opportunity to be a part of our story, to own a little piece of this country they love. I'm proud to say Canada is my home and the home of millions of people, each with their own story about what makes this country so great. At a home in miniature land, we want to tell that story a thousand times, above and below, around each and every corner. An experience that will capture the wonder that is Canada. I should just walk off the stage now. Uh, but I will say that's Jean-Louis Brennick Meyer, who is our founder and an immigrant to Canada. And over the last 20 years, he has developed a, a true affection for moose. <laughs> so you're right, Tim, we love moose. Um, so there's uh, two emotions that are really at the core of uh, anchor the appeal of our miniature Canada. The first is passion for country. And Canadians, new and old, are looking, they're really looking for ways to connect with what makes this country so special. We're going to provide them with that. And as you may have gotten a sense from Bill, there is a universal fascination with miniaturizing our known world. From our earliest days, it gives us a captivating perspective on the world that we live in. We're going to tap into that fascination uh, by creating a journey of discovery through Canada's vast natural beauty and its rich uh, cultural diversity. Our guests will start their journey at the border, of course, and after passing through the friendliest customs they'll ever experience, <laughs> they'll hear the roar and then turn and see the roar of our thundering miniature Niagara Falls, 16 feet wide, that they'll be able to walk up into. From there, they'll be able to go east, travel west, or travel north, to explore our Canada in the course of an afternoon. We're building an immersive miniature world with the sights, the lights, the sounds, and even the smells of the big world. Don't worry, it'll be the good smells. Think maple syrup, sugar shack, those types of things. I want to show you a couple clip, uh, clips uh, of the world that we're building. At the top half. Does anybody have to go to the bathroom? <laughs> if I offended anybody, I feel the need to apologize. I'm sorry. <laughs> Everything about us will be Canadian. So this is a first to market in Toronto and a first to market in Canada, but it is not new to the world. Our inspiration is a place called Miniature Wonderland in Hamburg, Germany. And you saw it in the video. 1.4 million people, uh, visitors last year. The biggest museum in Hamburg gets half a million visitors a year, so it's three times. And uh, Miniature Wonderland, if you actually um, search things to do, top things to do in Germany on TripAdvisor, Trip this is what pops up. Miniature Wonderland is rated the number one thing to do in Germany, ahead of all these other spectacular attractions. This is one of their experiences. Miniature Wonderland and the success there has created a growing global trend. From Russia to France and last year to New York City, miniature worlds are popping up all over the world and they're attracting hundreds of thousands of people 
uh, in their um, in ratings um, as high as or higher than Ripley's Aquarium, which is the number one rated attraction in Toronto. We're going to bring our miniature Canada right to the heart of downtown Toronto, as accessible as possible to the residents of the, this country and to visitors of this country. It's a big, growing market, and it's underserved for attractions. Anybody who's tried to take their kids down to uh, Ripley's Aquarium on a Saturday afternoon and survived the crushing experience would know there's not enough stuff to do in this city. So we're happy to bring uh, something like this into Toronto. Uh, this is a unique investment, and I will shamelessly now ask for your money. Um, <laughs> We're building a growing community of investors who share our passion for Canada, um, and uh, we're almost there. And when we finish this capital raise, uh, we will then move uh, towards a launch. Uh, so if you'd like to be a part of this, if something in this moves you, please come and talk to us on the balcony at the break, um, or uh, send us an email at info at miniatureland.ca. We'd love to talk to you. It's Canada Day, so there is no time like now. It's just around the corner. No time like now to join us, come and be a part of something small. Thank you. I want to say that I answered the call. Uh, I'm going to be an investor. It's irresistible, really. You get yourself put in this tableau, and uh, it, it, we're not talking about huge money. I mean, what we uh, we take a thousand dollars, thousand bucks. We'll take fifty thousand. <laughs> we'll take a hundred thousand. Right. But um, they can get in for a thousand. Thousand dollars. Does yeah. that include a little effigy? Yeah. So I, I shout out to Selftritz, the team at Selftritz, who introduced us to Moses and those three D printed figures that you saw up on the screen. They're going to be a huge part of our attraction, and our investors will get put anywhere you want in our miniature world and in our lobby. So, you know, we're going to create a builder's circle with you or a person of your choice, uh, five inches tall, um, celebrating the people who've helped us build yeah. um, what we think will be an amazing place. When I, when I made my visit out there, they were out in Mississauga. Uh, so we have taken donations, but we would much rather um, you give us your money and become a, a vested part of what we're building. And we will give you shares in return, <laughs> of course. Yeah, I was going to say that when I went out to visit the first time, it didn't take me long. I looked at it, I walked around, I said, I'm in. Uh, I do have one small request, and that is, could you put my Jaguar into the tableau? And we do great with nickel. small requests. And so here it is. <laughs> That's so splendid, thank you. Oh now, God. if you zoom in, you will see it is Moses' uh, Jaguar because the license plate matches. Yeah. No, it's an XK120 drophead coupe, 1954 Jaguar. Oh, Moses. Isn't that splendid? That is amazing. Yeah. So, uh, get yourself into miniature land, really. You won't regret it. Thank you so much, John. Thank you, Moses. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you can hear about.